Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all good. So today we've got a vlog. I literally haven't vlogged in so, so long. Like, what the hell? But I feel like because we were just in lockdown, I was like, honestly, like, I'm not doing anything interesting. So yeah, I just didn't bother. But today me and mom are going to Ikea and we're shopping for our new tenants. So the refurb project that we're doing at the minute, it still isn't finished, but we just want to get like the last few like bits and bobs for the tenants so things like forks and knives and like all of that stuff and I need to pick up like a few little things for myself as well obviously because like I've said a million times I am moving out soon so yeah yeah I'm hoping that when we go the queues aren't bad because honestly I have not got time for that so yeah I think I'll do a little tour around so you can see like what is new in Ikea but I do feel like I don't know if anyone else thinks this but don't you feel like the stock in Ikea like never changes like isn't the stuff always the same but I just thought I'd take you around anyway like I love looking in their little showrooms and all that so yeah I'm so excited to go so yeah I'll leave a link to the renovation playlist just in case you haven't seen it but if you were following the renovation series along then I am still vlogging it but like while we we're in lockdown I kind of thought like oh why don't I do like room by room renovations so I'm gonna do like kitchen renovations bedroom renovations and then I'll do like a full house tour at the end but I don't know I just felt like a room by room way to vlog it was just gonna be a bit better so yeah that's what we're doing also I'm planning loads of content for after the renovations done so i'm thinking of doing like a how much did the renovation cost the renovation schedule lessons learned and things like that so please if you have any ideas that are specific to the renovation then let me know so i'm with mom say hi to the camera hi the queue didn't look too it wasn't too too bad but it is raining but it is yeah it's it's raining quite a lot but hopefully you know it'll be okay i'm quite surprised that the queue is actually there because i feel like restaurants are open now and other shops are open so i'm like why is everyone in ikea, IKEA? what why is everyone so obsessed but yeah <laughs> are you excited i'm kind of excited okay i find it a bit of a, i do find it a little bit of a chore having to buy all these little bits and bobs for the house yeah so what are we actually what what are we coming for today mm -hmm. so the sorts of things that we tend to get from a mixture of ikea and amazon and the likes of tesco is just it's the bits and bobs so it's stuff like um you know things to hold um like cutlery and stuff like that to mm. to make sure that um you know they're able to make best use of space. So space saving devices and things like that really, mm. to make sure that the kitchen and, and you know those sorts of communal bits are really clear of clutter. Yeah, and I'm also coming for some shelves. Always. What? You're always buying shelves. No, I'm not. Or something to stick on the wall. Yeah, I know. So I need to buy some shelves from a new place because I want to basically make like a plant wall of like plants obviously what else oh i need to get some ikea bags as well for when i move house i need to stock up on them because we didn't have any last time and it would have helped if i had them um i think that's all i need so we're inside now we're queued for about 15 minutes uh -huh. so it wasn't too too bad how many should i get look at this Look how pretty this is. Can't wait. When I have my own house, I'm going to have it dark. Well, I say my own house. I mean one that I actually buy. What do you think of these shelves? They're alright. Mm. They're alright. Like, they're alright. I'm not going to change the world. <laughs> dark kitchen. I'm not a fan of the brown worktops. I'm not going to lie. No. They nasty. No, it ain't nasty. The one thing that I absolutely needs to get from here, and it's always the cheapest, is an iron board. An iron and board. Ironing board. Okay. This is kind of cute. Won't be my vibe. Not in front of the green wall. I'm not gonna lie, but. I actually love that print. I think that's so cool. Oh, can we go in here? <laughs> mm -hmm. I just want to know whether we could, um, whether we. 
Well, we should have like green and like leaves like that as a feature wall in the kitchen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you, that's really cool. I'll show you, um, I saw it. This is definitely like this is like a garden space, isn't yeah, it? Because you'd have like lights hanging up. They're not really cute. You can't really see on camera, but they are different colours. And then that looks so sweet. Doesn't it make you want to like redo your whole house? <laughs> no. Uh, just me then. Okay, so I'm loving the dark vibes we've got in here. I'm loving this. There's the shelves, the lack. Oh yeah, but you don't pick up the shelves as you go around, you go to the warehouse. Ooh. <laughs> oh god. I forget that that's how IKEA works. Okay, so not a fan of the sofas, I'm not gonna lie. But I do like this gallery wall. I think that is a total vibe. Like I really love the black and white prints there. And then this little situation. I wouldn't have this situation in my own house. But I do like the vibe. Okay, so I like these shelves, but I feel like I definitely want the lack shelves. This is more of like a picture ledge. I want like bigger shelves, if that makes sense, because I want to put plant pots on there. Oh, okay. So obviously if I want plant pots on that, it's going to be too. Okay, so I actually really like this. I feel like this would be really cute if it was in a darker colour. I don't know if it's just like one unit or what, but this would be good for a like plant wall. These so chairs are so in keeping, but it's too, um, it's too low. Do you think? It's too high, sorry. Oh yeah. The desks are so low. <laughs> so do you want to get it in brown <laughs> or black? <laughs> what do you think actually? I like the black. I think it says, I think the black is saying it's out of stock. Get it online. No, it is nice. And it's low it enough. It works in the wood though. It works in the wood. Yeah, it works. But I prefer black. No, to be fair, I've just got a preference for dark. But the legs are black. Yeah, write it down. I think we should definitely get get one of them, but I'm, it's for those rooms where the chairs were too high. Yeah, yeah. How many? Um, I think we need at least three. Okay, literally, I'm obsessed with this kitchen. Look at the marble hexagon tiles. Like, oh my god. And then it's got the worktops to match, which I just literally love that. Okay, this is like a whole studio apartment, but like how sick is this? Like, it's really small, but it doesn't feel like, oh my God, I'm so cramped. So it's got like the kitchen over there, little bathroom over there, your front door there. And then it's got like this bedroom and lounge area. I just think this is like such a good use of space. Like if you were into like that whole small, do you know what I mean? Like, you know how people have like small spaces and then they convert them. This would be perfect. Is there anywhere that you want to and lounge under your bed though. Yeah, but people who live in small places, they would do things like that, wouldn't they? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Like people who like that type of thing. Yeah. So we're just getting the tenants some colourful plates and bowls. We're going to get different colours so that they know which one is which. Right, so I've got my four shells ready to make my plant wall. So exciting. Right, so we're done with Ikea now. That was such a long trip. We must have been in there for about two hours and a half. Now two hours. But yeah, that was long, very long. Even like the queue to pay was so long. But um, yeah, we're done now. So we're gonna go home and show you everything that we've got. Right, so we're quickly just grabbing some food. Literally, we we're both so hungry. That was such like a mammoth task, do you think? It was epic. Flipping epic. Right, so we're back from Ikea, so I thought I'd just quickly show you what we got. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the most exciting of stuff, but I thought I'd just show you guys anyway. So basically we brought all these plates, bowls, and mugs and glasses for the tenants. We've actually got two of each of the plates and bowls, but I thought I'm not gonna bother getting them all out, that is just gonna be too much. So yeah, we've got four different colours, as you can see, and then basically what we'll do is go to Tesco, and then get like four other colours. Obviously we don't want the tenants to get all their stuff like mixed up or anything like that. So each of them will get two big plates, two small plates, two bowls. And then we're giving them a mug that matches all the plates and that. But then they have also got LCM Home mugs which are branded. So yes. And then I've just brought this like little cutlery drawer separator thing for myself. Because 
I literally don't have one and all my cutlery is literally all over the place. So I was just like, no, it's time. Now I need to get one of these. And then for the tenants, we've also brought them each a set of these utensils. Just in case like they haven't got any of these like little bits. So yeah, we've just brought them all like a set of these. Then we've got as well some scissors for the house. And then it's just little bits and bobs really. Like we've got a bottle opener, a can opener. We've got this toilet roll holder. Then I've brought this toilet brush holder for myself. And then literally I've just got my lac shelves over here. I can't remember the dimensions of them, but they are the 12 pound ones. So they're fairly long, but I feel like these will look so cute. And then mom's taken as well back to her house, six office chairs that we've brought for the tenants because mom ordered some, but they were like too big and they wouldn't fit under the desk. So we brought some of the Ikea ones, which will look so, so good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But oh my god, I didn't even say this before, but basically when like we first started walking around Ikea, one of the security guards came up to me and he was like, oh, you're not allowed to like film in here. He was like, are you just taking pictures or are you filming? I was just like, oh, like we're just taking pictures because obviously I wanted to film this like come shop with me. He was saying about how they've had like vloggers and YouTubers go in before and then they've been like messing around on camera and then they have put it on YouTube and things like that. And I was just like, um... This is awkward. I feel like once he spoke to me, I didn't feel like I could be as chatty as I was being at the start. Like, I feel like I just went really quiet and I was just like, hmm. So yeah. Also for the renovation, we have already brought things like the blankets, the throws, the pillows and things like that. We have finished dressing five of the rooms and we've already had like the professional photos taken and things like that. We're just waiting for two of the bedrooms to be finished and then the kitchen and then we are literally done. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because within the next few weeks, there's gonna be room by room renovation vlogs, which I'm so excited for everyone to see and like I'm excited to put it together as well myself, so. Yeah, but I'm gonna end the vlog now. I'm literally just gonna chill out now on the sofa because honestly, that trip to Ikea was so, so much. Like, oh my God, I just feel so tired. Like it was so long and all the queuing and everything like that. So yeah, I'm literally so buzzing to be back home because that was a lot. Like it's been a really busy day. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh,